Hey guys, and welcome back to Kuchan Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make these darling little snowflake, beaded snowflake ornaments. These little ornaments are really easy to make. I found the idea, um, I was cruising on Etsy and somebody was selling these. They were vintage uh, ornaments that I guess their grandmother or somebody had made. Uh, I think at one time these may have been maybe a Busiel or Busiel, Busiel, however you pronounce that company's name. Uh, a beaded kit at one time. Um, I've never seen them before, but I thought they were really cute, so I decided to go ahead and make them, and now I'm gonna show you how to make them. Now, for these ornaments, you're gonna need a few supplies, of course. You're gonna need some 12-inch pipe cleaners. You're going to need a various assortment of beads. Uh, you're going to need, more specifically, 26 eight-millimeter faceted beads, and these are all plastic beads. These are the ultra-cheap ones that you get from any craft store. You're going to need 12 tri-beads, are what they're called. Um, they only come in one size, they're just known as tri-beads. You're going to need six of one color and eight of another color of these 18 millimeter, they're called starflake beads. Uh, sometimes you'll find them as, um, they'll be called like snowflake beads or, um, but if you search online, you'll find them under starflake beads. Um, you also need some eye pins or paper clips if you don't have eye pins, a pair of jewelry pliers or needle nose pliers. You're also going to need some super glue and not pictured here, you're gonna need some monofilament, some clear fishing line or clear thread or something like that, and a needle. So let me show you how the easy these are to make. Now the first thing you wanna do is take your pipe cleaners. You're gonna need two pipe cleaners for each ornament. Uh, basically, all you're going to do is take it in half, just like that, and take a pair of scissors that you don't care about, uh, because these will damage your scissors, or a pair of wire cutters if you have them, and just go ahead and snip these in half, so they look like that. And you're only going to need three of these for each ornament. All right, so what you're going to do here with these three pipe cleaners that have been cut in half, they're about six inches now, is you're going to make them into a six-sided snowflake design thing here, if you will. But you're gonna to need to put all of these together, fasten them somehow. You can sew them together if you want to. I don't want to, uh, it's too time consuming for me. So I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. You're just gonna take one and fold it in half and put a pinch in there. You're gonna put a second one in and Put it right there in the center and fold this up. Now you're gonna take this and you're gonna cross these over each other. So you're actually wrapping around this second piece here. Then you're gonna take your other one here. Again, fold it in half so you know where the center is. And you're just gonna put this around like that. Pull it over. Now all of these are secure. None of these are going anywhere. It's, it's on there. Now what you're gonna do is build up your beads on each one of these little, I'll call them fingers of your snowflake. And I'm just gonna do one finger here so you can see um, how they go on and the progression of the beads. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start with an eight millimeter bead and I'm gonna string this on like that and push that all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm going to take a tri bead, put that on, put on another eight millimeter bead here, like that. Then I'm going to take a starflake bead and put that on, maybe. Where's the hole? Can't find the hole, there we go. Put the starflake bead on of one color. Then you're gonna take the other color of starflake bead and put that on and nestle them down so they're on each other like that. Then you're going to do another eight millimeter bead on there. Another triflake or tri bead. And then you're gonna finish that off with another eight millimeter bead here. And that's all there is to that little progression of beads. That's all it takes to make this gorgeous little thing. 
So all I'm going to do is continue that all the way around. Alright, and I'm finishing this up with tribade and my last 8mm faceted. And there you go, that's what it's going to look like when all of your beads are on. But we're going to have to trim these ends off as well as finish off this center here. Now to finish off this, the ends here of your snowflake, you're actually going to you want to make sure that all of your beads are tucked up nicely in the center here. First of all, that's important here, which they all are. Now what you're going to do is actually remove this last bead here, and you can see where it ended on where the end of the or the tip of the bead came to the end of the the pipe cleaner. So what you're going to do is cut just below that. Cut that off like that, and what you're going to do is take a dab of super glue and just put one drop of super glue there on the end of the pipe cleaner. And taking your bead here, you just want to slip that on, and that should almost instantaneously set so it will or instantaneously dry. Now, if your kids are doing this, this is the best part, or this is a part that is best left to you, the parent, uh, to do this. Because you don't want your kids messing with super glue and gluing their fingers to each other and getting beads stuck where they shouldn't be. And it's just, super glue is about best left to parents. You can see there how instantaneous that dries there. All right, so I've got all six of my points done here. All of the edges are, or the ends are trimmed of, let's clean this up a little bit so you can see that. So there you go. All six points are done. Now we need to attach a hanger. Now you could do this using an eye pin if you have an eye pin. I don't have one laying around. So I'm gonna use a um, uh, paper clip for this and you want to find one of your ends here that the paper clip goes in a little bit. Doesn't matter which one, just pick one. And you want to see if the, hopefully the paper clip will go into one, there you go, will go into one of these. And you want to stick it down as far as you can. Now, the glue sometimes sets up between these two beads right here so you can't get a paper clip in there that's perfectly fine um, but what you want to do is shove that paper clip in there as far as it can possibly go which really won't be that far and you want to take a dab of super glue and put that right on top now you may be concerned with the super glue dulling these beads they do a little bit if you get it on the outside um, but the inside they don't. So um, don't worry about them becoming dull because of the super glue. Anyway, you want to set this off to the side and let this dry. Uh, it takes a little bit for that super glue to set up when it's exposed to air. Um, so I'm going to let this set up for a little bit and then I will be back. All right, so this is set up for the most part now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off, leaving about three eighths of an inch or so. Um, you don't want to leave too much because then you'll have a huge loop and you don't want a huge loop. So you just want to cut that off there and then using your jewelry pliers here you just want to form a loop. You can also use needle nose pliers for this that works just fine too. So bend it up and make yourself a little loop like that. Hopefully you can see the loop, it doesn't really matter which way it's pointing if it's, that's not really a very good loop, but I don't do my best work on camera. But there you go, that is the loop that you can then hang this from. Now we're going to focus on finishing off this center here. Now what you're going to do is, I'm going to be using monofilament here, hopefully against this black background you can see it. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to sew on another starflake bead here. 
This will be the seventh and eighth of your secondary color here. The snowflake bead followed by another eight millimeter bead right in the center. Now, you don't have to sew these on if you don't want to. That's perfectly fine. You can glue them. Uh, I wouldn't do the super glue, although you can if you don't, you know. But to keep the optimum shine, um, you probably want to use something like a hot glue gun, um, which is what the originals have. But I want to make this a little bit nicer, so I'm going to take this monofilament here and I'm going to leave about a six inch or so tail here. I'm going to string on one of my beads here. All right. Leaving a six inch tail or so, I'm just going to tie a knot on this. Now the nice thing about using this thin monofilament, which is actually uh, nylon quilting thread, um, it's super strong, but you can't see it. So uh, I'm just going to tie a double knot there so the bead stays in place. And what I'm going to do is place this on the center here. And I'm not going to actually sew this starflake on. I'm just going to wind the monofilament around in between the lobes and back down. And if you do this correctly, this monofilament here will go underneath the bead and you won't even be able to see it. And you can get really, I mean, you don't have to go around a whole lot of times, just enough to secure it. And that's all I'm going to do for that side. Now for the back side, you're going to place your starflake bead in there. And I know my fingers are all getting up in the way here, and I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you can get the idea here. See that right there in the center? And I'm just going to wind this on. Now these starflake beads should sit right in the center of, they should center themselves over the first beads in the center of the ornament. So... Get them in there so they're nestled nice and cozy in there. Go around this a few times, just like that. And then you want to take the other end of your thread here, if you can find it, and string this bead on, just like that. And then again, I'm going to wind this around to the back or the front, whatever, and take that six inch tail that I left and I'm just going to tie this off in a few knots to finish this off. And we're going to finish this off with one final knot. Right down there, just like that. And then you want to grab these loose ends and just trim those off. And then you can go ahead and fluff out the little arms of your snowflake there, attach a hanger, and there is your completed beaded snowflake ornament. See, it's super easy. These are great for kids to do. They don't take a whole lot of time, but remember, let an adult do the gluing on the ends. Uh, but otherwise, this is a great little kid's craft, and you can make them in any variety of colors. Got that one that I just did. Here's a one in blue and white. Uh, it's dark blue and light blue. You could do red, white, and blue if you wanted to. Uh, here's one that is red and white. Here's one that is pink and purple. Uh, got one that is yellow and green. Here's one that's kind of a pink and light aqua color, if you will. Here's one that's white, light blue with purple beads, purple accents. So you can make these any variety of colors that you want. Uh, get the multi-colored uh, packet of beads and separate these out. These all came from the same pack of beads. So you've got yourself a great little selection there. But there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.